Hi, my name is Paul Geary and welcome to Bass Guitar Magazine. Um, this month I would like to continue with some thumb pop octave exercises um, and also starting with example one we're going to be using E and D strings open and then proceeding on to example two open A and G. Um, what I'd like to do as well is actually play the octaves right up to the 12th fret so we'll take the tempo really slow and see how we get on with that. Make sure that as you, when you start in the first five frets, you can use one and four fingers of the fretting hand. And then when you go past the fifth fret, you can switch if you want to, to one and three fingers. It will just make it a little bit easier to pay, play the octave pattern. Um, let's get started with this with example one. Here is a beat 85 BPM. Sounds like this. sure you're getting a nice tone with that as well. Be consistent with where you're hitting the strings on the uh, plucking hand just before the first fret as I've said before. Um, example two we do the exact same um, exercise but starting with the open A string to the open G string. Let's try that one with the B. Two, three, four and... Also with those exercises, try experimenting with long and short tones. What I mean by that is that you release the note with the fretting hand uh, to dampen the strings so that they don't ring out. If you ease the fingers off so that they ring a little bit more, you get a long tone. So you could experiment with both. Short. Let's move on to example three. Here's where we get a little bit more tricky and I'm gonna introduce a double thumb. So let's take G, third fret E string. And what we're gonna do is try some octaves with a double thumb. Okay. Let's look at example three. Stick on 85 BPM. One, two, three, four. Just watch out for those two sixteenths at the beginning. So we use E and the D strings, and then we go over to the A and the G strings. Two sixteenths each time to start the bar. Let's try that example again. Example three. Two, three, four, and. Long. 
Okay, that brings us to the last example uh, for this month, which is example four. Now this, most of you I would have thought would know. Um, it's based on the intro section to a track by Stevie Wonder called Higher Ground. Um, but the version that we're going to have a little look at is by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, so we've got Flea on bass. Let's have a look at that. We need to put this into a bit of a triplet feel, so we'll do it three time just so you get the feel um, of where the notes lie. Um, again, we're using E, playing the octave over on the G, um, over on the D string, and then G, same thing, and A. So this one uses just purely open E and open D strings. Let's have a look at this. Let's try that a little bit quicker. Okay, that's it for this month. Um, enjoy, remember, take everything really slow, build it up um, slowly as far as the BPM goes, and I'll see you next month for some more thumb and pop exercises. Bye for now.